talk about helter swelter. Am I right, boys and girls? Quite a heat wave we've got. Yeah. Hey, so why are we hiking down the mountain again? To swim, maybe? The main campus has a pool. In the opposite direction. Yeah. Hey, Nagisa. I heard you were a real badass the other day. Sorry I wasn't around. I'd have loved to see the guy's face. He means my assassination of Coach Takaoka, which was cool, sure. But it's relatively easy to take a normal person by surprise. Besides, we're down to the wire, and it's still anybody's guess how we're going to assassinate him. <laughs> All right, class, feast your eyes on this. Oh. Your very own swimming hole. Compliments of moi. <laughs> It's weird when he does stuff like this. It makes him awesome. And honestly, hard to want to kill. <laughs> not to be ungrateful, but this is kind of sad. First of all, I can't even swim. Second of all, this bathing suit makes me feel self conscious. You got nothing to worry about, babe. Take my word for it. Plenty of people go for your body type. Gee, thanks. And plenty of people wouldn't find it creepy that you're using a long-range lens. Nagisa? Oh, snap. You're really a dude. You didn't know that? We had our doubts. Kimura! Absolutely no running around the edge of the pool! That's how accidents happen! Oh, sorry. What do you think you two are doing? Absolutely no holding your breath underwater. How am I supposed to tell the difference between horseplay and drowning? Absolutely no sneaking pictures! Ah, put down that book and enjoy the water, for heaven's sake! Wow, what a pain. Yeah, I guess being a lifeguard really goes to some people's heads. Brings out their inner type A personality. No kidding! Someone telling me needs to dial it back a notch? Yeah. <laughs> I've gone through a great deal of trouble making sure this pool is in harmony with its natural surroundings. Proper enjoyment of it must be disciplined and orderly. Aw, come on! Don't be such a stick in the mud! You need to loosen up! Eek! Uh, um, did he just scream like a chick? <laughs> ah! Oh, Karma! What are you doing? Stop it! I'll fall in! Are you listening to me? I said stop! Please! Whoa. Are you okay? Don't read too much into it. I just didn't feel like taking a dip at the moment, that's all. It's certainly not as though water causes my fingers to swell up or anything. Wait a sec. He can't swim. Interesting. This might be his most promising weakness yet. If you were never intending to get in the pool, why even bother bringing that kickboard along? This? This isn't a kickboard. It's my afternoon snack. Naturally. Excuse me? Your happier grades are up? No! Say that again! Don't think I heard you right! 
Come on, these are the highest scores I've ever got. It's because of the octopus and the right before the practice exam after school slithery study session thing. Whoa, whoa, you saying you actually showed up for that crap? Yeah. <laughs> the three of us agreed no slithery anything, remember? But that's the thing, it wasn't all bad. In fact, it really helped me out. Are you kidding me? <sighs> Fine, care about your grades if that gets you off, traitor. Fantastic. Now Muramatsu's fallen for that you-can-do-it BS. Am I the only one with half a brain? That is awesome! <laughs> Holy crap, you even got the flare sides right! The hell you so stoked about? Oh, hey, Taraska. So, you know how we always thought I was the only one here into bikes and stuff? Well, turns out Koro Sensei knows as much as I do about him. I may be an adult, but I'll never outgrow the need for speed. I've dabbled in manly hobbies like this for years. Did you know this particular model can reach up to 300 kilometers per hour? What I wouldn't give to burn rubber on the genuine article someday! Are you kidding? You could get this puppy to Mach 20 without pumping the gas! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what the hell is wrong with you? Apologize immediately. Koro Sensei worked very hard on that to showcase his manliness, and you've just reduced him to tears. Yeah, what she said. You're talking to me, and all I hear is a swarm of freaking locusts. It's time for some pest control. Hey, what the? Is that a bug bomb? That does it. I enjoy a good prank as much as the next Get man. those disgusting things the hell off. You're a monster, you hear me? A freak of nature. Anyone who falls for your nice guy act is stupid. That's right. I don't know what's got your jock in a tangle today. But if he's such a monster, why not man up and kill him? I mean, last I checked, that is what we're supposed to do here. You aiming to start something with me, tough guy? Because I wanted to bash your stupid head in since the moment you... A little advice. You got this backwards. You gotta bash my head in before you can run your mouth. Let go of me! You're all a bunch of freaks! Wow, what crawled up his butt? I don't know. Maybe he just does it for the attention. Hmm. Earth on the brink. Students training to be assassins like we're in some kind of self-improvement camp. Give me one good reason why I should care about any of this. I'm not just gonna smile and fall in line with the herd. I do things my way. Nicely done. Here, you've earned it. Phase one of my plan is complete. Now these guys have the right idea. The octopus has an excellent sense of smell. Hence why we dare not lay the groundwork for Itona's return ourselves. Had he picked up even a trace of our scent, the game would have been spoiled. I sympathize with your feelings on the matter, Ryoma Tarasaka, believe me. And I advise you to relax. You have but to follow my plan to the letter. The freak of nature will be dead, and E-Class restored to its former insignificance. I know you. You're weaker than the red-headed one by far. Your physique says otherwise, but I see. Those eyes are a dead giveaway. You have sight, but no vision. The only thing you see is the path of least resistance. The wolf has eyes for prey, the cow has eyes for hay. One of them's a killer, the other his buffet. What the hell is that supposed to there, mean? There, Calm yourself. We're counting on you tomorrow. <laughs> okay, could you please stop? This crying business is ridiculous. Excuse me. For your information, these are my nostrils. I'm not crying. My nose is running. How am I supposed to know that? For some reason, my sinuses have been running amok since yesterday. Uh -huh. Jurassica, thank heaven! I had this awful feeling you abandoned our class for good! The so-called bug bomb you set off in class was in fact a canister of concentrated pollen-like allergens, specifically designed to blunt our foe's senses. Now we move to phase two. So, Octopus, I think it's time we stopped messing around and killed you for real. Come by the pool after class. We all know your big weakness is water. Don't we now? Hey, it's all right. You guys can come too. You can watch while I shove them in. You can even help me out. Where's this coming from? You make fun of our attempts, and now you expect us to be on board with yours? Dude, you pride yourself on having the worst attitude in this class. Give me one good reason why any of us should help you. <laughs> Whatever. Suit yourself, man. <laughs> I didn't want to share the prize money with you dead asses anyway. 
the hell is his deal all of a sudden? The guy's mood swings are too much for me. Exactly. Count me out. Yeah, me too. Let's all go. It'll be fun. What uh, the? It's not as hard to get locking us to the floor. Magic is finally showing some initiative. We have to be supported. I realize you've been rather difficult in the past, but this is everyone's chance to kill and make up. Why are you so gross? Jurassica, hold up. Huh? Are you for real about this or what? You tell me, man. Does it look like I'm joking? I'm just saying. If you've got a plan, let the rest of us in on it and we might be able to... Uh, uh, shut up! Damn, you people make me sick, you know that? Always huddling together, terrified to make a move on your own. I ain't like the rest of you. I have vision. A wolf's got eyes for prey, a cow's got eyes for hay. <sighs> All right, then. I guess he knows what he's doing. Still, it seems like he's more confident in his plan than in himself. I mean, the wolf's got eyes for prey? Seriously? No way he came up with that on his own. Yeah, there we go. Everybody stay spread out like that, nice and far apart. Yeah, we get it, thanks. I'm not so sure about this plan of yours. It's highly unlikely we'll get Koro Sensei in the water against How his will. How unlikely is it that I get you in the water against <laughs> his Look at him. We cooperate and the jerk goes power mad. Yeah, sort of reminds me of the way he used to push people around back in second year. Aha! So I assume the idea is to push me in the water and have everyone converge on me with their knives. Uh, have you worked out how to actually push me in? It's only good sportsmanship to tell you that fancy pistol of yours won't do the trick. This is not a gun, but rather a special transmitter that will alert us to when all the pieces are in place. Once your classmates are in position, pull the trigger. We'll take it from there. Best say your prayers, monster. This is it. I'm ready when you are. My sinuses have even been cleared. For the record, I've always hated you with a passion. I couldn't wait for you to up and disappear. Oh, I'm well aware. Methinks we should have a little sit-down after this, talk out our differences. This'll wipe that smile off his face. Itana, you're up! <laughs> what? <laughs> Children! Surely you can't just leave these poor young people to drown, can you? What the hell, man? They never told me. They never told me about this. There's a waterfall up ahead! If they go over it, they're doomed! He can't rescue them without getting wet, and by the time he saves them all, his fingers will be swollen. Normally, he'd use his mucus as a protective barrier against water. Normally, yes. In fact, his mucus can gelatinize water, modifying the permeation pressure. But alas, his mucus stores have run dry. This can't be good. I... I didn't do it. This wasn't part of the deal. Itana was just supposed to help me push him in, that was all. You never had a plan, did you? Just let yourself be strung along by someone else, a pawn in a game you don't know the rules to. Listen to me, dammit! It's not my fault! Come on, you know I'd never sign up for something like this! I, I was played for an idiot! I'm not the one who swept them all away! <laughs> hey, idiot, the only person who got swept away here is you. You've got two choices. Keep making excuses to cover your ass, or find a way to fix this. One. Thank goodness! Look! Lovely to see you again, Koro Sensei. <laughs> Ordinary water is bad enough, isn't it? Worse still is water treated with a chemical agent designed to slow you down. Your own student saw to it that things went swimmingly. Itona! How's it going, brother? I believe you and me are slated for a friendly little rematch. I always thought of myself as strong. I singled out the wimps and made sure to put them under my thumb. Great way to feel like a boss. But at this school, none of the usual tricks landed worth a damn. Yo, let's ditch next period and hit up the convenience store. Yeah, no, I'm sorry, man. I've got to study up for my English exam. Lighten up! Skipping one class ain't gonna matter that much. Does the ape not want to play hooky by himself? What? Here. No one ever caved. No one respected me. You need to get with the times, bro. The alpha male crap might have worked in middle school, but it's a different story now. Once you're pushed to E-class, you're nothing. And nobody's as scared of you as they are of that. Your grades have been in a downward spiral all year. One of these huh? days, 
You're in for a rude awakening. People like me will be throwing rocks at people like you. That's when the reality of it hit me. When I realized my tough guy act was a joke to these people. I was through. No one would ever take me seriously again. All the dweebs and jerk-offs I used to push around would grow up to be big shots. They'd run the show, and shiftless dumbasses like me would be under their thumb. When I first got put into E-Class, I figured, hey, no prop. Everyone's the same as me. I can afford not to care. But then he showed up. Out of nowhere, things changed again. Suddenly, we had a goal, a purpose. And now here I am, a lazy good-for-nothing chump with no future, caught up in someone else's master plan. Damn it! He's fast, and rather stronger than I recall. We reduced the number of tentacles, focusing the speed and power in those remaining. Now even a simple child can master them. This is unreal! That's maybe a foot of water. Can it seriously throw him off that much? The water ain't his only problem. You've got some nerve! Look, he just saved you from drowning. He can't go all out because he's spent. And his attention's still divided. Oh no! That branch can't support Hara's weight! She's gonna fall! He can't focus on the fight because he's too worried about them! Especially her. That fatty'll be too soon. We have to help! How? Wait, hold on a sec. This wasn't even your plan, was it? You got roped into this. <laughs> like a head of cattle. But hey, that's what happens when you got sight and no vision. Some smart-ass wolf comes along, and before you know it, you're on the menu. Thing is, though, if I'm gonna be played, I pick the tune. I've had it up to here with these jerks, and the idea of them getting the prize money? Don't get me started! You're a smart dude, Karma. You be the puppet master, and I'll be the puppet. Mm -hmm. Come up with something awesome. If you're the brains, then I'm the brawn, you got it? Give me a plan, and I'll save every one of them, fatty and the monster included! I don't know. Sure you wanna be my lackey? I'm pretty devious. Huh? You might get killed. Oh, big deal. Devious I can handle. Just make sure you've got a vision. Now, Utena, strike the killing blow. What's up? Can I help you? So, bet you jerks think you played me pretty good. Does that wound your ego? There's something to be said for being the perfect foil, my friend. Or are you suddenly upset we endanger the classmates you care nothing for? Laugh it up, man! Payback's about to be a real bitch! Etena, you and me one-on-one -on -one right now! Don't be ridiculous, Sarasaka! He'll throttle you! I wasn't talking to you, tentacles! <laughs> He's tapped into his inner hero. Shut him down, Etona, for good. What have you done? No worries. They're not gonna kill a student. We're too valuable alive. As long as we're in danger, Kuro-sensei can't concentrate on the fight. Even Hara isn't that bad off. If she falls, either he or Etena is bound to catch her. It may look like he's in over his head, but Taraska knows exactly what to expect. <laughs> Tentacle Boy will try to knock him unconscious, but if he grabs on and rides it out, we're good. That's an impressive grip you've got there. Let's see if it holds up under another lashing. <laughs> That's yesterday's shirt, the one he had on when he bug-bombed the class. Unless he did laundry last night, there's still some residue on it from whatever weird chemical was in that can. I figured if it affected Koro Sensei, it'll affect Itana. And there you go. Now Tentacle Boy's distracted, and the octopus has a chance to rescue Hara. You gotta love a good plan. Yoshida! Muramatsu! Oh. Give us a nice big splash, okay? <laughs> He's out of his mind. I like it. Logically, the two of them have the exact same weaknesses. Easy. Turn the kid's own tactics against him, and voila. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> Looks like you've got a problem with water retention there, pal. <sighs> all right, here's the deal. We're not okay with you hogging all the prize money. Or with the fact that your plan revolved around putting our lives on the line. Slapping one of our own around doesn't sit well either. So if you want to keep at this, you're going to have to face all of us. <clears throat> well played, children. We withdraw. The slaughter of innocence was never our intention. Who can predict how his antimatter organs would react? Come along, Itona. Ah, uh, wasn't that a fun way to while away the afternoon class? And there's always room for one more. Itona. Uh, I 
thought we'd never get rid of those two. We saved your bacon, didn't we? It's a good thing we're quick on our feet or you'd be a goner. <laughs> That's adorable. I still had a few tricks up my sleeve, just so you know. Hey, Tarasica. In case you're wondering, I heard your cracks about my weight. We fatties prefer the term full figure. Uh, didn't mean to be a dick, just sizing up the situation all objectively. Sizing it up? I may be on the hefty side, but I can still kick your ass. Wow, awkward. A little tact goes a long way, man. You should try it next time. Kind of hard to run from the wolves with your foot in your mouth, just saying. Why don't you get down off your perch and say that to my face, you little turd monkey? How about that? Hey, I'm supposed to be your puppet master, remember? Don't even go there! That was a temporary arrangement, and you're not the one who took a tentacle to the gut! That's right! I was down here taking all the hits, because you don't have the balls to do your own dirty True. work! you sort of kept your distance the whole time. Oh, don't like getting your hands dirty, huh? We can fix that. <laughs> hey, Take that! I think we can all agree Tarasica isn't exactly cut out to be a mastermind. But when tasked with putting someone else's plan into action, he's invaluable. On the field, his competence shines through and things get done. It's as simple as that. No self-respecting assassination squad should be without him. Definitely. Tarasica may be hot-headed, but he belongs here. I'm glad he's finally adjusting. We all are. Trouble is, we're so caught up in the moment, we've overlooked something. Something major, actually. Koro-sensei's biggest weakness yet. Hello, shooting star. Hello, shooting. 